Well, traders, I'm done for the day. Here's uh, what I did today. I had uh, one losing trade in Beyond, a beautiful trade in MYGN, and uh, Shek still riding 100 shares with uh, approximately two and a half points. Uh, beautiful trade in Tesla, and two trades in Uber. Uh, one small loser and the other one very, very, very small, maybe five cent winner. So let's uh, quickly go through these trades. Uh, first one, I'll start with my losing trade in Beyond, which is right over here. My losing trade is Scott winning trade. Uh, therefore, Scott owes me money. Right, Scott? <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, so I posted Beyond over 83.40 and um, just a quick look, Beyond is up now 5%. So that's the pullback day of Beyond. It came down dramatically recently. So if you watch the daily, uh, it is a pullback day. I wouldn't usually go for it, but Beyond is Beyond and everybody's watching it and looking for a pullback. So if Beyond does pullback, it's not like a different company which may or may not make it. And Beyond did finally make it. So, you know, there, there was a good reason to believe that Beyond is going to come up higher and Scott kept riding it until he did. I did not. So my entry point said enough was right over here 8340 you see that spike over here it came up a few cents took me out scott held to this spike down he believed in it more than i did and i was after two green trades at that time so i didn't want to take a chance by giving back my money uh, the hard earned money i had in mygn and check by that time i was green and i was i wasn't going going to let go so i i i stopped it out I had a loser, uh, Scott kept, kept holding to it, and uh, Beyond is Beyond, and everybody's watching it, therefore it probably made it, uh, I mean, it did make it. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, some of my winners. So next one, MYGN. MYGN was posted under 20 to 20 now. It's a huge gap down in MYGN. Stock is down 40% right now. This is approximately how it started to see right over here. Initial move was down. You may remember I said earlier, I'm not going to take it short, although I have to tell you, once it moved down here, stock is down 40%, you expect it to crash, but it's too dangerous. You take a stock uh, that is down 40% at a new low. Well, you may miss the great trade if it would have continued, but I was so happy to see that it moved higher. I was happy because I I knew I may be missing a trade here, but I did not because it failed to move lower first and then foot moved higher. And then you look for a failure. Then you look for a failure because when the stock is, which is 40% down, is trying to move higher. That's the greed of everybody who's trying to average down their loss. Look at the daily here. Uh, recently, it was moving up very strong. So people still believe in it, I guess, and trying to average down their losses. And well, for whatever reason, greed drives them to go long. And look at the volume here. That usually does not last. That usually fades. I would say usually because I don't have 100% uh, success rate. I mean, over 60% is good enough for me. So I posted it for short, MYG another 2220, which was right over here. And it continued to come down. That was a beautiful trade. And I'm no, I'm not riding it anymore. I'm riding Sheck. Let's take a look at Sheck now. Uh, my main two candidates today were Sheck and uh, Beyond. Now Sheck is down now almost 20%, right over here. It's down almost 20%. Started a bit higher, as you can see uh, in here. And it did not come down under the law, so I did not have the same issue thinking I'm missing a good trade like uh, happened in MYGN. It tried to come back to the lows. I was very, very happy to see that it moved higher. Now for the same reason. This one's down 40%. This one down just 20%. Take a look at the daily here of Shaq. Again, a huge breakdown. But this one was trending low recently, which is a bit different then. So, you know, the, the, uh, the fact that it came down, unlike, um, unlike MYGN, uh, fear factor is stronger this way, so you would expect it to succeed. 
I mean, even better than uh, MYG. And in, and in fact, I'm still riding it uh, two and a half points, more than two and a half points right now. So this one was posted uh, under 7030. So look at the 7030 mark. Again, you see it moving higher. It fails. And at the point where it fails, you think, well, although it's trending higher, the stock is down almost 20%, it should continue coming down. That's the bet that you have. That's what you're thinking when you're seeing a stock that is down 20%. Otherwise, you have all the reason to think that the stock will continue coming higher and you don't want to short a stock that is trending higher. Well, anyway, check, check worked out uh, beautifully and I'm still riding it. So that was a great trade. I had a, a fantastic trade, a very quick one in Tesla. I love them when they're so quick. So Tesla was coming up today. Let's take a look at the daily here. So the daily in Tesla looks amazingly good. Stock gapped up strong recently, moved up, pulled back some profit taking, and this is a nice technical reversal. Again, you take a look at this daily, you know that there's a good chance that the stock is going to make it on the intraday. So Tesla initially came down, closed the gap, came a bit more, and then was shooting over the highs and moving like crazy. And at that point, 3.21.40, I posted it in the trading room for long, 3.21.40, and look at what happened. That was so quick, that was so great. Stock moved up to 3.23, that was more than one and a half point. Plenty of time to get the partial and then pulled back out, and I closed it, everything over here. And I was thinking, well, I could probably buy it if it comes down, not that I did it, and then it moved to a new high. But then when the market came down, it failed. And maybe coming back up again, I don't know. But that was a beautiful technical formation right over here. Look at the volume. Look at the way it came up. So that was a very quick in and out in Tesla. Just beautiful. Um, <clears throat> The trade I'm not proud in, I mean, two trades uh, were in Uber. I posted this one under 28.90. Now, this one started with a gap down, quite a big one. I mean, the stock is down now 7.5%. So it was definitely on my list today. But look at what happened right out of the gate. Stock came down, didn't give me any chance to go short. That's a shame. If it would have moved up a bit and then reversed, I would definitely take this short. But it did not. It just came down. I was still looking for a failure. So once it came up again, and that would be more dangerous. I mean, you like to, I like to take the reversal as at the beginning, when it fails to move lower, moves higher, then fails. But that one was more dangerous. Posted this one under 28.90, which was right over here. Came down a few cents, took me out of the highs. So it just moved to a new high, but failed. Try to move to a new high, failed once more. Well, I thought that once it fails to move, fails to move to a new high that was here, that if it's going to come down under 28.85, that's where I posted it once more, then it's going to make it. I don't know why I was. I mean, at that point it looked good. It looks in, it looked interesting. It failed to move to a new high. I mean, moved to a new high, but failed to continue and then coming down under this support level. I thought. We could, we're going to get a good trade here. I'm not sure I would have taken it unless I would have had a start with a losing trade. So probably Uber was on my mind trying to get even with this one. That's what I'm trying. I'm, 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 I think I figure out right now. So maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. And then it failed again. But this time it did not go over the highs. So I kept in and I made like five cents uh, somewhere over here. Exactly here. I saw that this consolidation here. I missed my target. My target was 65 and I missed it. It was there, under. So once I missed my target and it was just consolidating, the right thing to do is just to move out. Maybe it's going to make it later, maybe not. But at that point, I could have had a second loser. So I took like maybe five cents. I'm not sure. So my second trade was nothing. Anyway, I had two trades in Uber. The end result today is good. I'm up just over three grand, which is quite like yesterday. I was with more than that. So my second uh, trading day in a row is um, green, over three grand. I'm happy. That's a good start for my week. And now I can take off for a restaurant, which I have a reservation with some guests that are coming over. So I'm going to have some fun this evening, and uh, I wish you too. And um, 
Hope to see you all tomorrow. Thank you for your time. You guys on YouTube, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would help our channel. Appreciate that. And thank you all for trading with me today. That was a beautiful trading day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.